So I'm going to take the example of sexual and reproductive health um, services to show how uh, qualitative research can help improve services for young people. Some programmes assume that given enough knowledge and given provision of services, young people will automatically use contraception and abortion services, for instance. Um, but that's been shown not to be the case throughout the world. So the question is, why is it that young people are still not using condoms, for instance, when they're available and when they know that they protect against STIs? So one of the things that qualitative research has shown is that young people often um, judge their partners to be clean or unclean, depending on how socially close they are. So while they're perfectly willing to and, and do use condoms with, say, sex workers or with someone they just met, they'd be less likely to use a condom with someone that they've known for ages because they, would, they designate them as clean and so not a risk for STIs or HIV. So that's one of the things that qualitative research has helped us understand. Another thing is that young people may deliberately be keeping their intentions vague. So they may not want to make it clear to their partner or the partner, they may not want to talk openly about the fact that they may be about to have sex. And that can be for a number of reasons. So one might be that the one person might worry about looking foolish, or maybe the woman would not want to seem overly forward um, because that would maybe affect her reputation and so on. And so unclear communication is often a characteristic of, of well, many sexual relationships, not just young people's, but particularly in, in, in the case of young people, and particularly if they haven't had sex before with each other or in general, because it adds to the sort of the possibility of it going wrong or the kind of nervousness and so on. And so um, when it comes to the actual moment of maybe having sex, they might well not, not be at all prepared. Now, that in itself wouldn't be a problem if they then just didn't have sex. But what sometimes can happen is that, first of all, um, uh, for some young men, studies have shown that the experience of having sex is actually more important to them than the, the risk. And so they, they're willing to take a risk, or maybe they don't think there's much of a risk, and they'd rather have sex because the social rewards are so great for having sex that they just would prefer to go ahead and do it anyway. Um, and that might be true of young women as well, or um, either party might want to um, you know, please their partner. I and mean, obviously we're talking, about, we're talking about opposite sex, um, sex now, but of course the same might be true of same-sex relationships. And so basically you end up with a, a situation where there's unclear communication potentially, where maybe neither party really quite understands what the other intends to do, and so you end up in, in a position where contraception hasn't been thought about or condoms haven't been thought about. So qualitative research also gives us an idea about why young men and women might have sex with each other even though they don't want a pregnancy but still not use contraception. So an obvious reason for that, which m most people say for young people, is that they're ignorant. So that's a classic explanation. They don't know what they're doing, they're kind of a bit stupid, they don't, they're, you know, and so the, the kind of method for fixing that is just to tell them to use condoms or tell them to use a contraceptive method. Um, but that doesn't take account of the reasons why they're actually maybe going ahead and having sex without contraception in the first place. Often it's not at all because they don't know about methods. I mean, we already talked about the fact they might not think it's necessary to use a method with, for STI prevention with a, a partner they consider to be clean. Um, but other reasons might include um, the fact that they've had difficulty getting access to services because the services simply aren't available for young people. Mm. Many young men assume that the woman will take responsibility for contraception and so they might assume that the woman is actually on the pill or, or is using some other method without checking. Um, women might not feel able to obtain or carry contraceptive methods or suggest using them because of the risks of their reputation that that entails. So there's a sort of a social desirability or there's a social desire to kind of be swept away in the moment and that you know women who are not swept away in the moment who plan too carefully are seen as sort of morally suspect in many cultures and many settings.